Hey everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude, and look what I'm wearing. It's my Amazing Spider-Man t-shirt that I got when I went to go see the Amazing Spider-Man. Yes, I still have the shirt, and I still think it's such a badass shirt. The trailer for the Amazing Spider-Man 2 came out, and I'm here to talk about it, so let's do this. Every day, I wake up knowing that the more people I try to save, the more enemies I will make. And it's just a matter of time before I face those with more power than I can overcome. I remember back when the trailer for the first Amazing Spider-Man came out, I thought it was going to suck. I did not think it looked good. I was not looking forward to it. And when I went to the midnight premiere to see the film, I'm like, oh god, why am I seeing this film at midnight? I'd rather go see this in the daytime. So, I was hoping it would be worth going to a midnight showing to see, and it was to me. I thought it was an outstanding film. I was extremely surprised by The Amazing Spider-Man. No, it didn't have a lot of action, but it did have a really interesting storyline, and I understand it's a mixed film. Some hate it, some enjoy it. You know, we all have our different opinions, but I was really excited to see The Amazing Spider-Man 2, and after seeing the trailer, I gotta say, I'm very impressed with the trailer. I do have a couple of issues with the trailer, but Overall, I think it looks fantastic. I can't wait to see The Amazing Spider-Man 2. I hope it'll be just as amazing as the first film. If not, maybe even be better than the first film. I just gotta say, the suit on Spider-Man looks really awesome. I just love how the costume is made. I'm just really impressed. It looks terrific. Don't get me wrong, I like the suit in the original as well. I thought that looked awesome. But in the sequel, I think it looks twice as more badass, in my opinion. Rhino Paul Giamatti. I love that Paul Giamatti's in this film. Come on, we all gotta love Paul Giamatti. Rhino as a villain looks a bit messy. I hope he'll be good in the film, but for now, it's all like, eh, they could have done a little better with Rhino. It's a little too quick to introduce the Green Goblin. I could see this franchise trying to reboot Venom because even though I thought Spider-Man 3 is an amazing film, I know a lot of people do not like Spider-Man 3. That is your own opinion, but I think Spider-Man 3 is really good. Not as good as Spider-Man 2, but I still think it's a really good film with only a couple of issues. That's really it. And one of the issues I had with Spider-Man 3 was that Venom was a disappointing villain. So, if they do have Venom somewhere in this franchise, I hope that he will be much, much better because Venom is my favorite villain in the Spider-Man world. Jamie Foxx as Electro, he looks so awesome, and I love the visual effects. When he just zaps, it looks so awesome. I love the visuals. The action scenes in this trailer look so epic, and I hope we get to learn about Peter's dad's past. The story looks like it'll be more deeper. It'll be more grounded. Look forward to seeing where that's going to go. I think having a lot of villains in the sequel honestly could work. Like, with Spider-Man 3, it worked for the most part for me, except when they added Venom, it was just like, eh, that could have been better. But still, I thought Spider-Man 3, for the most part, it did work with three villains. It didn't feel jumbled, in my opinion. I hope the Amazing Spider-Man 2 will be like Spider-Man 3, where it's not jumbled with the villain things, and it really works. Like, if they want to go more than one villain, go ahead. It's something to spice up a superhero movie. I'm sure the sequel's going to have more action than the first as well, since the first did not have that much action. Dane DeHaan as Harry Osborn, badass looking. Gotta love the hairstyle too, like, wow, look at Harry Osborn. Compare the Harry Osborn here to the Harry Osborn in the Sam Raimi Spider-Man trilogy. Holy crap, so different. But Dane DeHaan, awesome actor. Emma Stone, the more movies she makes, the more beautiful she gets. And I really love Emma Stone as Gwen Stacy. I can't wait to see The Amazing Spider-Man 2.
Thanks for watching my trailer review, you guys. If you have not seen the trailer for The Amazing Spider-Man 2, I will leave a link to it in the description box below. Subscribe to my channel, like and share this video, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And don't forget that I will always have... TAGA POWER!